All hail Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Breaking news. Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile, His Excellency Ekpa Simon Njoku, unveils new Biafra Liberation Army Command to protect Biafran borders as declaration date draws closer. Here are the news in details. The Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile, His Excellency Ekpa Simon Njoku, has unveiled new command of the Biafra Liberation Army to guide and protect the Biafran borders as the Biafra declaration date draws nearer. I don't want to talk too much. Let me first of all read from the official and verified ex handle of the Prime Minister of BLGIE, and after that, I will briefly analyze it because I have something else to show you in this same broadcast. And according to the PM, he said, Breaking. The new command of the Biafra Border Guard. The new command of the Biafra Border Guard. Being positioned at strategic borders. At strategic borders. First come, first collect. <laughs> this one is for the terrorists. First come, first collect. If you come first, you collect first. Whether you are terrorist in military uniform or you are terrorist in police uniform, you are terrorists in a Dubago uniform, or you are terrorists from, you know, Sahel. Of course, you know what I mean. You get the gist. <laughs> the Bokos, the Akaidas, the Iswaps, the Fulani bandits, the headsmen terrorists, uh, the Mieti Alas, and all of them. Anyone that comes first will call it first. <laughs> he said, you can go and verify from the terrorists that are trying to enter Biafra land through the bushes if you try to enter the land of biafra from the bush <laughs> anything you see you take if obone fully well and remember first come first collect and of course you can see the gallant men this is just a tip of an iceberg this is just a tip of an iceberg you can see how gallant they are you can see their gallantry you can see how prepared they are Makandiota asekwana i will not translate this evil word for you if you're a terrorist from sahel now as if that is not enough like as i told you from beginning that after this i'm going to show you something else i have something else to show you very very important because since yesterday we see what has been you know flying all over the news platforms both on social media including mainstream the so-called mainstream media platforms it has been flying all over the places where they claim that simon Epa has uh, obtained the loan worth seven, uh, 57.5 billion dollars uh, you know through the help of ngozo kunjiwala and the, the prime minister of biao gie his excellency Ekpa simon Njoko, came to his ex account that same yesterday to debunk this very fake news because the reason why he did it not that he wouldn't have ignored it but the reason why he has to uh, you know debunk the fake news is because ngozo konjiwala herself you know debunked it in the first place because her name was mentioned in the fake news so the pm found it very very imperative to also come out to debunk it but in doing that responded to ngozo konjiwala at the same time so i myself have found it very very important to talk about it briefly before the end of this very broadcast and according to the title from the daily post nigeria they said ekpa replies ngozi okonjiwala over 57.5 billion dollar world bank loan claim it was all fake news all fake news now Simon Epa has denied the claim that he said the World Bank, through the former Nigeria Finance Minister Ngozi Okonjiwala, agreed to loan the Biafra Republic government in exile a sum of 57.5 billion US dollars. Epa spoke on Thursday through his ex handle. His comment came after Okonjiwala reacted to a statement purportedly from Epa wherein he allegedly said 
the World Bank okayed a 57.5 billion US dollar loan for Biafra agitation, which is all lie, fake news. And remember, they said that they have okayed. Are you paying attention? That World Bank has okayed. Look at it here. World Bank okayed, meaning they have said okay, they have accepted to give Simon Epa or whoever they claim to have requested for the loan, the approval. You understand? So, not that they have given, not that the World Bank has already given. How do you make it public when the World Bank has not even given you the loan? And what do you have for collateral? What are you going to use for collateral? As it stands today, right now, in this very moment, the Biafra government is not asking for loan from any institution. What we have is what we call IOU loan, which is meant for Biafrans, individuals, Biafrans, and of course, lovers of freedom. If you like what we are doing, you want, you like, you love freedom and you want Biafran people to be free from the shackles of slavery, you are free to use IOU loan made available by the Biafra Republic government in exile. That is the only way that any individual or a group of people can lend money to Biafra Republic government in exile. Apart from that, nothing else. There is no any institution in the world that the Afra government is currently, you know, requesting a loan from such, you know, uh, organization. It does not happen. Now, according to the statement of Ngozo Konjiwala in response to that tweet, I know no sensible person will believe what is contained in the outrageous tweets below. But in these troubled times, it is important to underscore that the statement is false. Again, I enjoin all those seeking to misuse my name to deceased. Okonji Wala, the Director General of the World Trade Organization, stated in her response to the said statement. However, reacting, Ekpa said he never made any comment regarding the World Bank loan. I will show you this, the tweet itself in case you haven't seen it before. I never tweeted such. It is even surprising that you, he is talking to, Okonjiwala, that you can tweet this because your name was mentioned. We have been tweeting about the terrorism in Nigeria against your own people and you never responded nor showed any remorse. Of course, which is the truth. I have never seen, I follow Ngozi Okonjiwala. I follow her. I've never seen Ngozi Okonjiwala before said something about the, not just the inhuman treatment against her own people, but the murderous tendencies of the, you know, Zoo Janjaweed terrorist groups in the name of the army, police, and all that. Ngozo Konjiwala, for one day, has never tweeted, regretted, you know, showed remorse on the buying of her own people in the southeastern part of the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria, otherwise known as, Bia uh, you know, hinterland of Biafra. Don't tell me she's from Delta State. She's a pure evil woman. A pure evil woman. And she knows she can never deny it. Both her husband, her father, her mother, her lineage are all evil descent. But today, on on a lina kwansa. But immediately after fire na fake news, which she even know that it's fake, and that the Prime Minister of BRG can never in any way make such to uh, you know tweet or statement. Yet, she found it very, very important to respond to it. That is what we call hypocrites. Now, he continued, Here you are defending what non-entities did with your name, but have been moot about all the buyings by the government you served. I congratulate you for always defending yourself and your integrity, even when they are photoshopped. It shows you are a mother. Thank you for defending yourself. But I never tweeted such a thing. It is false and fake, he wrote. So I don't want to talk too much. Let me show you the tweet in case you haven't seen it in the first place. As you can see on your screen, this is the tweet where they claim that they, according to them, I don't know how they did it. They even put the name of the prime minister with the blue tick <laughs> that shows that it is the verified X account, which is fake. Photoshop, fake. Everything is fake. Now, they said, breaking, 
the World Bank and IMF have agreed to loan the sum of 57.5 billion US dollar to Biafra Republic government in exile. Biaugie. Oh, Adiego Munem. Chai. Oh, Adiego. Oh, Gene. This is desperation. Oh, Bandi DOS uh, is wise. Name me from Bandi also. Do not think that there are other people doing it. On the DOS is wise. Now they say to form our government after to form government after Muglo long ago to form our government after December 2nd, 2024 declaration of Biafra. I thank our sister Ngozo Konjo Iwala for helping me to facilitate the loan. <laughs> Mad people everywhere. Ndi believe you can never win this battle with propaganda. You can't. You can't. It's impossible. So I, I want to advise all of you carrying this fake news and the propaganda. Go no choice for zone here. Me chow no lo. Media kwa go no. Biafra agitation I have to go no chow no lo. Umu koko. 